First tonight, a red flag warning, and for good reason, after grass fires all weekend. Good evening, I'm Rob McCartney. I'm Brandi Peterson. The closest call we saw today was in Blair. Just look how close the flames came to a house this afternoon. And the danger isn't over yet with more dry, windy weather on the way. KATV News Watch Evans, Christina Engdahl, live with tonight's big story. That's right, Rob. And what started this fire just plain yard work, a homeowner? Trying to mow his lawn. Now we know one Kennard firefighter is being treated for heat exhaustion, but firefighters say if not for quick thinking, this fire could have been a lot worse. Wind whips across this still smoldering about 40 acres of scorched earth. Signs of fire stopping within feet of this rural Blair house. And the man who lives here fought frantically to save it. It's just flames this high, and I was just putting them out, trying to keep it that side so it wouldn't get these people's homes. This is Val Goodman's home of eight years. He was just tackling yard work when his lawnmower burst into flames. Uh, what happened is some grass got up underneath the muffler and then the muffler caught on fire. He immediately called 911 then battled the blaze with a garden hose. That's when neighbors like Valerie Hauser joined the fight. We just grabbed hoses and kept like making them longer and longer and then just kept going through and trying to stop it from spreading. Valerie shared these pictures with us showing how far the fire spread. Kennard's fire chief says at its worst, flames were about 30 feet tall. With this wind and uh, the rate of uh, the amount of fuel that this fire had running through the cornfield um, into the grass, um, we, uh, we needed all the manpower we could get. Calling in mutual aid from all over Washington County because in these conditions, a small fire becomes a big problem fast. But still, fire got to Val Goodman's shed and destroyed it, a total loss. And inside two classic cars, this is one of them, a 1959 Edsel. But Val knows what he lost in here are just things. I got all my family here. That's what's most important. Now, Val also says he saw and appreciated his neighbor's efforts today, and Kennard's fire chief says it took about two hours to control the fire. The estimated loss, about $100,000. Live in the Newsplex, Christina Engdahl, KETV News Watch 7. Christina.